glass is made of natural ingredients that are abundant. Making it uses less energy than producing metal or plastic, and it can be endlessly recycled. Whether they're coloured or clear, then, glass bottles and jars are always green. The recipe for glass combines several natural raw materials. The main ones are silica sand, soda ash and limestone. Silica sand usually makes up about 45% of the batch. The soda ash helps melt the silica evenly. It makes up about 15%. A limestone content of about 10% makes the finished glass more durable. These ingredients are combined with recycled glass called cullet. The factory's equipment feeds precise amounts of the materials into a furnace. After 24 hours at 1500 degrees Celsius, a gooey liquid that's the consistency of honey is produced. The molten glass pours out of the furnace. Shears cut the flow at precise intervals to produce cylindrical globs. Each glob is the exact amount required to make up one bottle or jar. They drop to a device called the scoop. The scoop moves them to troughs that feed them to jar forming and bottle forming machines. A glob of molten glass goes into a preliminary mold. A matter of seconds, it comes out as a miniature version of the bottle, known as a parison. Each parison then moves into a blow mould, the cavity of which is the shape of the final bottle. The equipment blows compressed air into the parison, stretching the glass outward towards the wall of the mould cavity. This process creates the final bottle shape and hollows out the inside. These are amber-coloured beer bottles. The colour is produced by adding small amounts of iron, sulphur and carbon to the glass mix. A similar manufacturing process is used to produce other types of bottles and jars. In this run, the company is making 375 milliliter wine bottles out of clear glass. This run is producing bottles also out of clear glass. This mold though has a special feature, a recessed insignia on one of the walls, which produces a raised insignia on the front of the bottle. After the bottles leave the forming machine, they travel through flames. Otherwise, they would cool down too quickly and crack from thermal shock. A loader now gently pushes the bottles into what's called an annealing layer. The bottles cool at a controlled rate as they move through the layer. This gradually releases the stress from the glass. As the bottles exit, they're sprayed with lubricant. This enables them to move smoothly through the rest of the inspection and packaging line. The bottles now single file to head into the automatic inspection station. As the machine spins each bottle, cameras and probes check for imperfections such as cracks or bubbles. The inspection equipment then examines the top to check dimensions and ensure the threads for the screw cap are moulded correctly. Before shipping, each bottle gets a final visual inspection. The proportion of cullet in glass can be as high as 90%. Cullet melts at a lower temperature, so for every 10% of cullet in the mix, the factory uses up to 2.5% less energy to produce its glass. Now that is a clear incentive to recycle.